like to welcome inside the studio here on PhiladelphiaEagles.com via telephone the newest Eagles cornerback, the 43rd selection in the 2017 NFL Draft, none other than former Washington Husky Sidney Jones. Sidney, Chris McPherson, and Ike Reese here in Philadelphia. Welcome to the Eagles family. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So, Sidney, what was it like when you got the phone call from the Eagles? Who was on? Who's around you from your family? Just set up that scenario for us. Oh, man, I was, I was in my house with my family. Uh, and I kind of I was hoping I would get a call, which it happened. The call came, shock was on my face, and I, and, I, and I picked up the phone and, you know, talked to Howie and, and the whole staff, and I was just, you know, emotional. My mom came and, and hugged me, and we were just hugging while I was on the phone, and I was just crying. I, I, could, barely, I could barely speak. Um, it was just an emotional emotional time. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, I'm sure it was an emotional day for you, and for, for a guy of your skill set that prior to this injury was projected to be in the first round, if not the top corner, the first cornerback selected, uh, just talk about... Uh, being able to get over that uh, mental hurdle and the frustration of getting to the point of where you almost completed the whole pre-draft process with the workouts, the pro day, the combine and everything, and to have this, this injury happen to you at your pro day. Just talk about being able to get through that and, and the people who helped you sort of get through that, that tough time for you. Um, you know, that was, a, that was a shocking moment of my life. Um, but, you know, adversity hits, and that's how you respond to it. That's ultimately going to determine, like, who you are as a person. And I'm, I'm priding myself on that um, big time. So uh, I, just had a, I just had a major support system around me. Everybody, I'm, I have a, I'm cool with everybody. So um, just everybody sends, sends me their love and their support and gives me advice. And, you know, I take it, I, I listen. That definitely helps. Um, so just my whole support system around me told me in times just as, as my mindset did too so just those two things you know made everything easier on me. Sydney to be a cornerback you have to be mentally tough how did you develop that and how has that toughness helped you through this time where you're battling back from the Achilles injury? Um, mentally tough is, is just being a being a part of like the fo just football I've been playing since I was six years old so being mentally tough you're, you're I was basically trained all my life, you know, to, to be mentally tough. Um, also, at Washington, it, it develops even more. Um, that, was, that was one of the biggest things we emphasized. Um, you have to be mentally tough to play this, play this game of football. So it's just um, all my life, mentally tough. Being mentally tough is something that's been preached to me over and over again, and, and that's that's what I am. Let's talk about some fun stuff. You're on, you're on the field ability, man. Certainly first-team All-American, first-team All-Conference twice, uh, nine interceptions throughout your career. Like I said, big playmaker uh, in that secondary out there at the University of Washington. What are some of the things uh, that you do well that make you one of the uh, top corners coming out in this year's draft? What's some of your strengths uh, as a cornerback? Man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Press, um, very competitive. I, I have great ball skills. Uh, you know, I, I like I like to have that ball uh, get back in the hands of my offense. So that's one of the things I, I, I pride myself on, and you know, watch the pride yourself on too. So um, that's, that's not going to change. So hopefully, you know, when I get on that field, yeah, I was making I was making turnovers and getting interceptions and forced fumbles like I've always done. Yeah. When, when you look at your game, who would you say your game most uh, uh, resembles? Or, or who do you sort of pattern yourself uh, after if there's anybody in the NFL right now? Uh, I don't pattern myself as anybody. I'm, I believe I'm my own player. Um, I don't believe anybody, you know. I want people to look at me like I don't want to play like, play like him. Um, but I don't, I don't begin with myself after anybody in this league. I'm my own player. Sydney, you played wide receiver as well as defensive back in high school. How have those wide receiver skills helped you become a top tier cornerback at the collegiate level? Um, just going back to those nine interceptions, um, that's 
you gotta have hands to you know get those interceptions. You know, everybody doesn't get a whole bunch of interceptions, and that's probably because they don't have you know the skill set in that area. Um, but growing up as a as a wide receiver, I've always tried myself and you know not not drop the ball. So I make that I make that a mission all the time, um, just not to drop the ball. You go throughout practice and and you know I basically punish myself if I ever do, and I'm hard I'm hard on myself. Um, so that just translates, to, you know, not dropping any, any interceptions, trying or trying not to, you know, you get you get some I call it missed ops every once in a while. Um, but it's like it as least of those as possible and catch everything that comes your way. You get that's how I pride myself on. What what have you heard about playing football here in the city of Philadelphia? Whether it be playing uh, just for the fans here or just playing in this defense under Jim Swartz, uh, what have you heard about playing football here? Um, the fans, the fans, you know, are very passionate about their football team, and, and they love they love them, them, them some Eagles. So um, it's a big fan base, and I'm a part of. I'm happy to be a part of it, and. Uh, I just want to make the fans, you know, happy and, and proud of you know my work that I do. Sydney, for fans who are you know going on YouTube trying to find as many highlights as they can right now of your game to learn more about you, what is one game in particular, or maybe one play that kind of signifies and summarizes the type of player the Eagles are getting in one Sydney Jones? You want a game? Yeah. Top game, if you were to look at highlights, what's the game that stands out to most to you from your college career? I would say this past year, 2016 versus Cal. All right, we're always scrambling, going to YouTube, trying to find the highlight right now so we can see because, you know, you're going against guys like Juju Smith-Schuster who also went in the second round of the draft. So definitely one of the most prolific passing attacks year in and year out. Certainly would be a good one to watch. You face some good receivers there in the Pac-12. Test yourself well. Helped get Washington to the college football playoff and showed why you were worthy of being selected number 43 by the Philadelphia Eagles. Sidney Jones, welcome to the Eagles family. Go home, celebrate, enjoy the time, and we can't wait to see you here in Philadelphia as you make your way and work to get back on the football field to help this team in the future.